Welcome back to Lou's Corner. This is your girl, Lou, and this will be our last video of the day. However, I've been seeing a lot of people here on YouTube do the tag of 20 brands that they would like to try. Um, so I just wanted to get into it. I'll be honest with you. I've seen several people do it, and I don't remember who was the first one. And I can honestly say a couple people didn't even like name off their creator. So if you're the person who created this, I do apologize for not giving you your, your credit. So let's get into it. Um, I'm not going to be like posting pictures of any of these brands just because I don't know how to do that quite as of yet. But I will be getting into learning how. So first one is Makeup Forever. So um, disclaimer, I have had two eyeshadows from Makeup Forever. One was a gold and one was like a mint green. I don't feel like it gave me a good enough impression of their products. I can say that those two eyeshadows were densely packed and they were big as eye as um as big as blushes so i definitely would love to try their brand i'm i'm looking forward to trying to find like a eyeshadow palette with something a little bit bright and um pungent um i definitely want to try and the only reason why i want to try their um highlighters because one of my good good girlfriends has one of their highlights and it just looked really good on her, so that would be the next one. Now, Fenty X Savage. Um, Fenty, I want to try their foundation and concealer and face powders. I see that they keep coming out with more and more um, complexion products, and I'm just really more interested in their complexion. Um, I do like their eyeshadow, and I did like their toppers. However, um, that is what it is. Then, next is... Um, the crayon case. So everybody know the crayon case. If you've been shopping online and buying indie brands, crayon case has been known for being really bold, pungent kind of situation. Um, I definitely would love to try out the tra crayon case. The only reason why I don't have any of their products currently is because every time I go to their website, they're always sold out and it doesn't seem like it would be um, beneficial to me to order just for one item um, because you get free shipping when you um, spend more than a certain amount of money then tart um i have an eyeshadow palette from tart but i feel like it's not even a good representation because of its neutral colors and i don't like neutrals so i can't even give them an honest opinion then mark jacobs um there's a beauty um a dance hall artist and her name's hoot Solari, and she's always talking about mark jacobs and i would love to try them out then NARS, I see a lot of people wearing their foundation and concealer, and I would just love to give them an opportunity and see how their products work, um, especially when everybody was doing their blush, turts, and cake coats or something like that. Then Dior, um, I'm not really a big, and I, it's not anything negative about luxury brands. I've never been really big for names. But I really want to start branching out from my normal things. So I want to try something from Dior. I just don't know exactly what it's going to be. Um, I'm thinking like when there are luxury rounds, it's either going to be an eyeshadow, a highlight, or a lippy. Um, most other brands, I would probably like a full face. And then um, KVD, we all know Kat Von D, um, you know, stepped away from the business and now they rebranded themselves as just being KBD and they just came out with a foundation. I would like to try um, Bobby Brown. Uh, anybody who's an old, like, makeup head, there used to be a makeup brand called Fashion Fair. Bobby Brown, um, one, one of their foundations was similar to one from Fashion Fair and Fashion Fair was a very good brand for women of darker um, skin. Then Smashbox. Um, I just maybe for years I've heard of Smashbox and I wanted to try them, but at the price point at the time it wasn't um, obtainable. But now, as much money as I spend, I feel like if I just bought a couple of items at a time, I could get a full face. Pat McGrath. She is a luxury brand, hunty, and I'm probably gonna try some more of her lippies. Um, my mother-in-law did get me those minis for Christmas. And I believe she said they were like under $30. So I figured if I bought a couple sets of her mini lippies and found one eyeshadow palette, um, I would be happy with Kat, with uh, Pat McGrath. I don't believe I would want a full face of her products because of the price point. Then Milk Makeup. Everybody's using their Hydro Grip or different products like that. And so I basically want to try them 
for um, priming products for my makeup looks. And I'm sorry if you guys hear all that noise. They're working on my street currently. Um, then I want to try Color Rain. Um, who was it? Miss Jackie. Jackie was um, sharing the other day. Not Jackie, any of the other Jackie from the panning community. Jackie was sharing that um, she just got their uh, bronzer. It was a it's a matte bronzer and when she put it on with her complexion products it looked amazing so I definitely would love to try that out and then um, Charlotte Tilbury now um, and I want to say it was Elizabeth Claire or somebody else who had Charlotte Tilbury and I would like to try a little bit of their products because I feel like um, I've seen a lot of great highlighters and stuff from um, Charlotte Tilbury. I just don't know too much about them, so I'd have to do a little bit more research into them before um, I purchase them. I do have skin issues, so I have to be very careful when purchasing makeup. Um, next is Laura Marcier. Everybody was on a BM margin getting her loose setting powders, and then she came out with different shades, tones, and everything. So I just definitely would like to try one, something in the, like a yellowy undertone. Then Benefit Cosmetics. Okay, so just for it being what it is. Um, at one point, I think, who was it? It was either Jackie Ina or Destiny Godly. One of the two of them were doing um, Benefit Cosmetics and they used to get receive PR from them. And at the time, it seemed like they had good products. I haven't heard anybody really talk about them so much anymore, but I would definitely like to try them out. Then next is Violet Voss. Um... Who was it? I think it was a Laird Rochester. I tell you, like I've, I've been on YouTube for a little too long, watching. Um, Laird Rochester. She had some Valley Voss items, and they looked really, really good. So I just definitely would want to try them because of the things that she suggested. Then, lastly and not leastly, is Huda. No, yeah, not last. Then, then Huda Beauty. Um, I think it was Fumi who had some Huda Beauty that I wanted to try. Then Tatcha, um, because Ohema had their um, face primer and it looked like it was gonna be really good. Um, then, I wanna say um, Hourglass. And the only reason I wanna try Hourglass is because Reed from Reed's Booty Trip, she had it and some, I think it was a highlighter that she was using one time and it looked really, really good. Then Natasha Denona, um, I think it was Kana had some Natasha Denona items and she made them look like something like you would want to try. And lastly and not leafly would be um, MAC. Okay, so confessions. I haven't had MAC in some years and I only had one or two items and um, so... I would definitely love to get a full face of MAC. However, I feel like with MAC, I would have to literally go into the store and get matched. I would not trust um, all MAC artists because I had um, a point where somebody had sold me some MAC and the MAC uh, foundation had gave me was not my shade. Like looking back at my pictures, I don't know who. <laughs> Who didn't tell me? So I definitely want to try some of their newer products. I haven't tried MAC in at least 10 years. So I definitely would love to try some MAC again. Um, and I would like to try some indie brands. I just don't know very many indie brands. And so I would like to try some of the indie brands that are out there. If you have any questions or comments or you have a brand that you would like to try, try um, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. It doesn't cost you anything. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in Lou's Corner.